Good morning. So I wanted to do a quick video showing you guys what I feed Batman because the last video I put up, people were asking me. What's funny is I never thought that I'd be doing a video talking about this. You know, I see people on YouTube doing stuff like this all the time. Like, you know, I'm, I'm not that guy, but people have been asking me, want to hear my input on it. So here it is. I have tried different foods in the past, and this is just the best thing that works for me. So I continue to do it. I continue to do this routine, and I get good results off this. I've tried diamond, I've tried science diet, I've tried just everything you can think of, and like I said, this just worked best for me. Um, this is the classic teal bag of Victor. I tried the red bag before. The red bag works well, which I think is the high active. Has less protein in it, but it has more calories. So um, that that one works pretty well. If I, they're equal in my opinion. It just depends on your dog. So, you know, you can't go wrong with either bag, but I'm, I'm leaning towards this one right now. I've been on this one for a while and I get good results on just the classic seal bag. You can order this on Chewy, Amazon, you can, you can get it. You can get it. And I think Tractor Supply is on the carry in certain areas now. So, the uh, Victor classic seal bag. Moving on. So, I got this from Kroger. And usually, I go to the Beaufort Highway Farmer's Market and I get more beef, more lamb, chicken, because I do a different mixture of, 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 of raw and giving the meat. I just don't always give them the same thing. Today we're doing the, um, the beef, because I was just going to grab some. I ran out and wanted to grab something real fast to do this video. And um, I usually keep my stuff in a deep freezer. So this is, you know, he's going to not to thaw it out. He's getting the fresh stuff this morning. This is coconut oil. All right, I usually just, after I mixed up um, the beef with the one scoop right here, and I'm gonna talk about that scoop in a second. I just put this on top, and truth be told, they'll eat this right off the spoon. All dogs love the coconut oil. This is good for their coat. You know, people was asking about that coat, why that coat is shining, boom. It's right here, all real dog men know about this. So, get it, use it, it's good. The scoop. One scoop, that's all this is, just one scoop. And I'll get from another scoop later on in the evening. I usually always feed in the evening. For the sake of this video, I'm doing it right now. This is New Pro. New Pro is the supplement that I use. I'm gonna get from this in the evening, but I wanna just pull it out and show you. This is, um, how many ounces is this? Well, this is the, the five pound container. So this is a lot of New Pro. This, is a, this will last me for a little while for all my dogs. Um, and uh, I, I use this religiously. It's very good in um, glucosamine su uh, supplement, you know, for the joints and stuff like that. And it works well. This is the silver packaging. I've been on this for a while. You gotta get your dogs on a supplement, and this is very good. And it smells good. It comes in a powder form. You just mix it up, and it becomes a gravy. Put it on top. If they like it, they'll eat it. Never had an issue with the new pro. So. I'm gonna go ahead and bust these open. Let's pause. This is what it looks like after you mix it all up real good. With that one scoop and two packs of the beef. And you put your um, coconut oil in the center. They're gonna eat that first probably. They love that. Um, quick uh, side note, disclaimer, whatever. I do not feed my dogs raw chicken. I have done that in the past, but I do not feed raw chicken anymore. Um, I always um, boil chicken just because I want to eliminate the risk of salmonella. I don't want to pass that on to my dogs. Chicken, um, it goes bad too fast. With this, the beef, think about it. Back in the day, you know, people didn't have refrigeration like how they had now. So people would walk around with, you know, with beef or they would kill bison or buffalo. And, and, and they would walk around with that red meat for a while in the heat and stuff like that. And it wouldn't go bad. Even us, like, you know, you go order something, you say, you know, I want it rare, I want it medium rare. People consume raw meat. This is okay for your dogs to eat. Raw chicken, I wouldn't advise giving raw chicken to your dog. I've learned um, from my experiences that it's just not good. Giving them cooked chicken and mixing the cooked chicken with the Victor or whatever you're trying to use is much better. Trust me, you're gonna get better results and um, it's healthier for your dog, it eliminates risk. <clears throat> Everything else, um, lamb, I've given raw lamb, haven't had any issues. 
and um, like I said, the raw beef, and I haven't had any issues with that. So this is it. I'm about to go give this to him. Just to tell you guys, another thing what I like about the, the red meat, you don't want to give him too much red meat, but you know, that red meat is, is good because it, 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 it'll bulk your dog up. It'll really put that weight in your dog. You know, it's it, that red meat is it takes longer to digest. So, um, I think that you get better results with feeding the red meat versus he's making a mess. You see that he goes right for the meat. He's a funny guy. You get you get good results feeding that red meat. All right, I'm gonna clean this up. He's gonna finish eating, and I'll be back later with another video. Taking pills, but I didn't think my mom was sick.